Welcome back, this is Yamajack. Today we are going to do another map. I think we're going to go for, um, what's the map that I have done? <laughs> we'll do, uh, I don't know. I think this is the most fun part of any video is me just kind of wandering around being like, what map are we going to do today? I don't know. Um, could do rig. Rig's okay. But I kind of want to do verticality. I'm going to do two verticality runs. With the, uh, with the thumbnail thing, it's kind of... Because there's a, a few videos where I do two runs, right? Like, we're going to do two runs in this video. Um, mm, as sharpshooter? Not as sharpshooter. We get pushed back too much as sharpshooter. And we don't have enough space to get pushed back. Um, there, are, there are, like, a lot of videos where I have two different runs, right? Like, I'll do a verticality and a kill zone or, or something, right? So I'm like, well, which do I put in that? And then there's also the like hashtags. And if I do like a Hell on Earth run and then a suicidal run and I die on both of them, which do I put? I usually put the the lower dear, the lower difficulty because I don't know, it feels feels misleading to say that it's a Hell on Earth run if I gave up on Hell on Earth, you know. Um, but with this, if I do verticality and kill zone, like which map do I put in? I genuinely try to put either the one that I won on, um, the lower difficulty one, or the first one. That, that's generally been my, uh, the way that I do it. And I think, I think that works out pretty well, but I don't want to be misleading, you know? Like, I've got the thumbnails, I don't want to be making people think that they're watching something that they aren't, you know? Not that I'm being, like, clickbaity, because I'm definitely not. Right? I mean, it's it's just a picture of a map <laughs> and the episode number and then the perk icon. I mean, it's not it's not clickbaity, but it feels like it's kind of clickbaity. So I don't know. It makes me a, a mildly uncomfortable at times. It's kind of you know you're always your biggest critic, right? Like, whatever, whatever you're doing, you're your biggest critic. You know, like, I upload these videos, and as far as I'm concerned, they're all garbage. Every every single video that I'm putting up is, is just trash. And I'm like, how could anybody watch this and enjoy themselves? But there are people who watch, like, my videos. Like, multiple people. There are, there are I think, two or three people, generally, that uh, tend to watch my videos. Um... And, I don't know, I guess, I guess, I guess, I mean, you're who I'm talking to, right? And, uh, you enjoy the videos, so, you know, they're obviously up to at least some standard of quality for, for some people. But, it's just, I guess, because I, I watch them so, so many times, but while well, I'm, because you, you have to record, I have to record it, right? So I, I have the, the memory of recording it, and then I have to watch it back to make sure that, it's a video that I actually want to upload and to get some kind of context for like titling the video and whatnot. So like it's by the time the video goes live, I'm sick of it, <laughs> you know, and it's it's hard to, to judge my um, uh, we'll pick up the M1911s. Sure. Why not? It's hard to judge the uh, the content myself because I am so biased against it. Because I, I can see all of the flaws and all the things that I don't like about it. And things that I know that I could improve if I just put a bit more time into it. But it's not worth putting that time into it. So I don't know. You have like a different perspective as the creator of, uh, of the content. Um, and that kind of holds true to the thumbnails too. Even though I didn't make the thumbnails. I do like make the pictures of the maps. And then decide what map goes in it. And um, get out of your EDAR. You kind of, you know, you, you, you feel, you feel like you're, you're doing something wrong. Like there's, there's something that you could do better. And, uh, being able to accept that feeling and just put it up anyway is, honestly, it's been extremely rewarding because I've been proven wrong because people are enjoying my videos. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we do battle, Mega Man Battle Network. I was talking about, I, I got sidetracked in the last episode with, I don't know, 
I forget what I got sidetracked with. I get sidetracked easily. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure y'all have noticed, but I get sidetracked real easy. Can you just shoot him in the face? Yeah, like that. Come on. How hard can it be? All right, we're gonna we're gonna go for this takedown right here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. We're gonna be doing Meg Mega Man Battle Network. Probably gonna have the first episode of it coming out this week or next week. Not sure. Um, but that's a game that I played a lot as a kid growing up. Cause I grew up. Mm, kind of in the Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS era, like that was my childhood. And the Mega Man Battle Network series was was kind of a uh, balling out of control on the um, on the Game Boy Advance. They only made them for the Game Boy Advance. I mean, there was the you know I think that Team Proto Man and Team Carnal, Carnal, uh, I believe they came out on the DS, but um. I believe they were also Game Boy Advance, and then they were just like, "Yeah, you know what? It lives and dies with the, with the Game Boy Advance." And I'm disappointed in that because, you know, it would be so cool to have, like, an open world, like Breath of the Wild style, Mega Man Battle Network series right now. That would be so cool, but we're never gonna get that because they, uh, they gave up on the, the the IP. As a, as a whole, so we're never gonna get it. Even though I would pay big money for it, you know, if, if y'all Capcom are watching, give me, give me Breath of the Net or something. Okay. I would I would pay big money for that. I would I would subscribe. I you know I won't I won't I won't play many subscription games. I would play an online like subscription based Me Mega Man Battle Network kind of game. That would be that would be up my wheelhouse. Um, so I grew up on the Mega Man Battle Network series. I got into it at Battle Network 4. Kind of 3, but I haven't actually played through 3 all the way. The first one that I, I really got into was uh, was definitely 4. I remember... Uh, you can... When you beat the final boss, you can, like, redo the game, but it's, like, slightly harder. I think I did it, like, 15 times or something. Like, I, I, got, I got really into Mega Man Battle Network 4. And uh, as I tried to show last time, I still have it like sitting right in front of me right now in the Game Boy Advance SP that I played it on way back in the day. Um, so I, I really like that series and I wanted to do... I've, always, I've wanted to play through the um, the older ones for a while, like Mega Man Battle Network 1, 2, and 3. Because uh, like, I've never actually beaten them. Um, and then if I'm playing through those, I'm like, yeah, I may as well... like play through the rest of them too, right? Why not? And so I think I think that's what we're going to do. I know that's what we're going to do. I've actually have I'm actually like working on getting it set up to do. Um, the only like real problem is that the the games are running like a 4x3 resolution, right? So in today's day and age of widescreen content and widescreen screens, you know, getting um don't fall off the edge again, okay? That's all I ask of you. Uh, you can't dodge it, though, going up. I should have seen it coming, though. I should have seen it coming. Um, yeah, so I've, I've wanted to play through it. If I'm playing through the, the older ones, then, you know, may as well... Just go ahead and do the uh, the newer ones too, right? Just go and do the whole thing. I want to do the same thing for the Fire Emblem series as well, because similar reason. I got into it at Fire Emblem 7, and I haven't actually beaten the newest ones either, so there's a lot of content there too. But I think that's what our uh, our like side series is going to be, is like three times a week of some of the older games that I really, really liked as a kid. And uh, just never have... I, I've never gone back and like replayed them or played through the whole series anyway. So... I think that's what I'm going to start doing for, for some of the, um, just more filler content. I want to start off the channel as a variety channel to kind of not move into that later on, but build it up as that, because that's kind of what I want it to be. Um, yeah. 
Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. Please do those. It helps a lot. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.